Hello and welcome to this Profumator Corrosion PM8500 tutorial. Review mode. On completion of this tutorial, you'll be able to play with the potential view and statistic view, and to create a chipping graph. Also, be able to create written and audio markers, and share a file with a colleague. The following information applies to all electrodes. Step 1. If you selected the advanced mode, you will be able to switch from three different views. View 1. Potential view. It shows the raw potential data collected with the electrode. Step 2. Swipe up using two fingers at the bottom of the screen to switch the view mode. View 2. Statistic view. It shows the distributed potential and the cumulative potential in a single view. It also shows some useful potential statistics. You can manually adjust the corrosion and the threshold potential considering the cumulative potential inflection points. Step 3. Swipe up using two fingers at the bottom of the screen to switch the view mode. View 3. Chipping graph. It shows the probability of corrosion in three colors, high probability in red, uncertain in yellow, and low in green. Step 4. These threshold values are calculated in the statistic view, but you can always adjust them using the color sliders. Step 5. If you selected the basic mode during the measurement phase, you will be only able to see the chipping graph. In this case, the threshold values can be selected using the ASTM standards or manually defined by the user. Step 6. You can create a written marker in any cell. To do so, long press one cell. Then, click on the notebook icon. Then, press the M1 icon. A keyboard will appear. Write your comment and then press post. To revise the written comment, press the T symbol. A pop-up with the message will appear. Step 7. You can create a voice marker in any cell. To do so, long press one cell. Then, click on the microphone icon and start talking, then press stop. You can also delete the voice marker pressing the trash button. To revise the voice comment, press the V symbol. A pop-up voice message will appear. Step 8. To eliminate one file, press the trash icon, then press delete. Step 9. To export data, click the export button. You can export in different formats. Snapshot, CSV, HTML, URL. Step 9. To save a snapshot, select the option. This snapshot will be stored in the logbook. Step 10. To share this file with your colleagues, select Share as URL or HTML. Then select the app you want to use to share the file, email, direct message, etc. Now, you know how to use the three view modes, and to create markers and export data.